Welcome to your Psychic and Oracle card reading. This is a general forecast, and cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, but only take the portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check your rising and moon and Venus signs for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And there is a free birth chart calculator link on the very bottom of the description box below, and it can help you out with this style of readings. Aries, I'd like to thank you so much for supporting my channel, the likes, the subscribes, and the comments. I'm so truly grateful. Thank you. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck, one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and one Divine Feather message. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. Aries, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, Fire Energy. This card is ruled by Jupiter. This could be a Sagittarius in your chart, or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is fate. It's destiny. It's a turn. A turn of circumstances. A new phase in life. This teaches us our luck can change, depending on our destiny or fate. The wheel can turn forward or backwards, and we, and when we develop temperance, we use self-control and make our destiny, which is greater outcome than just fate, because when fate happens, it's because we did nothing to better the outcome. By better coping with the downturns of the wheel, we raise our vibration onto another level. So try to take advantage of lucky breaks going forward. These are karmic cycles, expansion, and things are changing. Could be a surprise. It's a new chapter that's starting. And the wings on the creatures, they represent stability amidst movement and change. And each holds the law of wisdom in their hands. See the little books, the Aquarius, the Scorpio, the Leo, and uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. They're holding the books of wisdom. And this is a Yod, representing its divine influence, so it's now out of your control. So this is a turning point, and it's a karmic lesson that's to be learned here. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. This is an obstacle to your forward progress. This is a challenge. It absolutely brings in some tension. The Three of Swords, air energy. This is Saturn in Libra. Saturn blocks. No, this is a flash of understanding. It's a difficult realization. Separation and severance. It's a heartache. There's quarrels and upsets and divided opinions. It may have to do with an emotional truth. It's stormy weather for the emotions and the affections. It could be an unnecessary criticism or negativity. It's cutting to the heart of the matter. This can be the end of a relationship or an injury, even surgery. This is an emotional rawness and feeling skewered by the truth. There's insight to how things really are. It's talking about parting ways and the need to allow the pain to pass through. And that is necessary for the healing process. The Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Swords. This is a fast change that brings heartache and regrets. That snake will always be a snake, even though they shed their skin and say, I've changed. Your third card. This is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. Aries. The Five of Cups. Water energy. This is Mars in Scorpio. This is brooding, regret, transition. It's a loss. 
and it's dwelling on a painful past. It's being haunted. There could have been a betrayal. Could be some kind of betrayal from a past or a present lover. It's a strong regret for what could have been. This is a betrayal of some kind. And those two cups standing represent what is really important. But with this loss comes change and an opportunity. So use courage and that fighting spirit that what, Mar what Mars brings in. Use that fighting spirit to find your way out and turn around and address new spiritual possibilities and truths and have faith in the future. Turn to the new. That is the bridge over troubled waters. The Wheel of Fortune with the Five of Cups is cycles of change. It can represent someone that's bipolar. These are choices that affect our fortune. And this is someone that deals with a lot. And they keep on going. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome. The results. And the advice. This is really good, Aries. Number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The star. This is air energy ruled by Uranus. This could be an Aquarius. Aquarius could be in your chart or someone else's that you're dealing with. This is great hope and great love being given and received. This is, brings in healing and renewal. There's faith. The star guides us on our journey. These are stars that are aligning and being at the right place at the right time. It's your lucky stars are with you in this venture. Remember, this is a future. It is a prediction, so this can be a surprise. And now blessings are flowing freely like water. Obstacles are being removed. And this card carries bright promises and major growth and development. And it tells us that a new and happier phase of life is coming. It could even be unexpected help coming. Or a partnership goes to the next level. And if you're single, you're ready to let go of the past and open up to new love. The Wheel of Fortune with the Star card. This is everything you hope and dream for, goosebumps, you guys. It's going to become a reality. Now everything is possible because destiny leads the way. This is a combination that represents a talent with fame and recognition. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others. Yet you are consciously aware of this, Aries. The Ten of Cups. Water energy. This is Mars in Pisces, another card with Mars. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. No, this is a positive, bright sign. It's a realization of what matters. There's spiritual connections in your relationships, and this can be the fulfillment of lifelong dreams. There are emotional connections and home life that is blessed. It's being in alignment with your true nature and all in your life is in harmony. This is a rainbow of promise and feeling the bliss. There's divine love and blessings. This is the ultimate dream. The home is where the heart is. The Wheel of Fortune with the Ten of Cups is a lucky streak all around. This can be a fortunate family. And emotions run high. This is the ultimate reward. It's change. It's rethinking a past commitment and evaluation. Three of Swords with the Five of Cups is heartbreak, tears, and sorrow. It's an upheaval, an upset. It's despair. It can be self-pity to the extreme. That you come out of and heal from. You turn from this. The Three of Swords with the Star card is healing and renewal. It's mending a broken heart. It could be that short-term expectations are not met, but long-term, maybe. This is mending a broken heart from a relationship. Three of Swords with a Ten of Cups is heartache and healing. It's a blessing that gets you through pain. So don't worry. Be happy. 
This is a combination that says that. Don't worry. Be happy. This is dealing with fears before peace and happiness set in. Five of Cups with a Star card is a quick recovery. It's a good combination. And try to remember some good times, to add some good times into your life. The Five of Cups with a Ten of Cups is healing a relationship. It's an emotional bondage. It could be feeling trapped in a secure relationship, but it's sadness and healing. The Star with the Ten of Cups is peace and happiness. It's a harmonious family relations. It's hope for a family situation. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number one. Yang. Card number one, Yang, Aries. The masculine principle of movement and creative activity. The power to make things happen and taking action. Yang represents the power of action, the energies that prop the world forward, propel the world forward, and manifesting thought and desire into concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build momentum and make headway. What you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Here's the relationship message. Circumstances are supporting action on your part. It's okay to make the first move. Trust that you will quickly know where you stand. In matters of the heart, there is movement toward your highest good, so go forth with assurance. Passion is in the air, and now is the time to dance to the tune of love. Take the lead. Here's the prosperity message. Projects, partnerships, and all matters relating to your business are out of the obstacle phase and on to the make-it-happen phase. Now is the time to stake your claim and get things done. While you can expect to be busier than usual, this card tells you that you have all the energy and the vitality you need to accomplish your goals. Abundance is waiting for you to can't claim it. Now that Wheel of Fortune is also a lucky turn, and it represents movement happening. Here's your Divine Feather message from Allison D. Nicola. And this, Aries, is the feather of... Loon, pay attention to your dream time. Messages of guidance are drifting in. Pay attention to your dream time. Loon is a rather large water bird with tremendous swimming abilities. Mostly associated with the water element, Loon sounds its haunting and primal cry during the in-between times of the day. Its call, sometimes sounding like a laugh, other times a howl, is regarded as a true call of the wild. Many myths and stories describe the loon's cry as a wake-up call to a new state of consciousness. There are also tales connecting the loon to the fairy world, dream realms, and astral travel. Mm. And the message is, it urges you to pay attention to your dreams. Dreams are the extension of the unseen worlds, whether from our subconscious mind or from the many realms beyond this physical world. With the presence of the loon, your dreams may seem more colorful and be filled with the symbolism and messages. Filled with more of them. Keep a dream journal to record what you experience. Your dreams may be calling your attention to certain situations or giving you valuable input. Now is the time to listen and be aware. Loon's energies are dreams, messages, and consciousness. Thanks, you guys, Aries. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Hope you can feel it. Thanks for watching.